Hi everyone and welcome to part 5 of Let's Play Mass Effect Part 2 I've recorded this before but unfortunately YouTube rejected it Like the morning after shore leave How long was I out? About 15 hours Something happened down there with the beacon I think It's my fault I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Where's the beacon now? What happened to it? The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. I don't suppose it occurred to you that Eden Prime has medical facilities. Listen, you're better off in this infirmary than in any hospital on Eden Prime. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Nah. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh, Here we're Captain in the Anderson. background. It's my phone. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Oh, well. Did we leave Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Prime? I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council can kiss my ass. I won't let them blame me for losing the beacon. I didn't do anything wrong. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of... Vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the Beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. When have they ever done anything for humanity? If we expose Saren as a traitor, the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Sorry if I'm a little quiet, guys. I've just I've done these parts before. I thought I'd let you 
hear everything instead of hearing me yapping over it. We'll speak to a few guys and then we'll... Glad to see you're okay, Commander. We shall dock with the Sistel in the next chapter. Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard on the crew and... I'm glad we didn't lose you too. There's nothing we could have done to save him. No, I know that, but I don't have to like it. It's been a hell of a shakedown, Cruz. Our first mission ends with one Spectre killing another. The Citadel Council's not going to be happy about that. Probably use it to lever more concessions out of the Alliance. If anybody interested in knowing, I will not be romancing Caden because I don't like him. You've got a good grasp of the situation. You a career man? Yeah, a lot of biotics are. We're not restricted, but we sure don't go undocumented. May as well get a paycheck for it. Besides, my father served. I made him proud when I enlisted. Eventually. But is that why you're here? Because of your family? My family were homesteaders on Mindwar. I'm the only one left. But I've moved beyond that. Oh, that's right, a coos. I imagine that bought you any post in the fleet. Word is we're heading for the Citadel, ma'am. Can you, uh, tell me why? The Captain hopes the Ambassador can get an audience with the Council. Tell them what Saren's been up to. Makes sense. They'd probably like to know he's not working for them anymore. Whatever happens, we'll be ready, Commander. Yep. But you're not going to be a part of my team, unfortunately. My eyes set on Liara and Ashley. Liara, sorry. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. Do you really believe that, Commander? After what happened to you on a cruise? Are you saying you only survived because of random chance? I survived because I refused to die. With respect, sir. I think you had somebody watching over you. <laughs> I doubt it. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. No, not Paragon Points. Oh well. I don't like being nasty to Ashley. Be nasty to everybody else. It's a shame you can't tempt her over to the dark side of the force. And if people don't get that reference, oh well. It does give you experience. And it's good for the lower levels, but there really isn't any point once you get past into the higher levels. So I'd do it now instead of later.
last one now. You'll get a few more later on in the game. But that's all for now. Um I'll stop it here because we really don't have the time. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next part and thanks for watching.